All right, hello all. Here we are again, uh, back in Arch Linux and more torture for you. Uh, this time I compiled a list of some of my favorite command line or terminal uh, tools, utilities. And on, as you can see here is a list. Uh, you may know some of these or all of these, but just out of interest. Um, these are the ones I usually install or they already have been installed uh, by default. But uh, first one is locale purge. I've talked about that many times. Uh, you just configure it to for your language, and it will clear out unused language languages installed by programs. Sometimes three to five hundred megabytes or so. Uh, so it's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, if I open a drop-down terminal, just run locale purge. You can see that's already been cleaned up. Um, if it isn't and it detects a language, sometimes you have to run another command. It's shown on on the screen, so you just run it run it as root. So if you do sudo locale purge, and that's usually the way I do it as sudo. Uh, the next one is profile cleaner, and that's for browsers basically. So profile dash cleaner you just press enter and I'll tell you which ones are supported you can see chromium firefox google chrome and abbreviations so if i do profile dash cleaner f for firefox um i reduced it by 9.21 megabytes and if i do uh let's clear the screen c uh gc google chrome nothing okay Sometimes there's a leftover data, but most of the time Google Chrome cleans itself up. Another one um, you can install through Pac-Man is mlocate, where you just type locate something. Uh, if you're looking for a program, say GPU test, it'll show you where everything is, including what's any documentation you might, might have made, and so on. I find that really handy, even though supposedly it leaks some memory. I'm not sure on that, but it, I haven't noticed any adverse effects after years of using it. Uh, another one, is, of course, is bash completion. That's self-explanatory, like ls slash, and you start typing, you know, a few uh, letters and, uh, and press tab to complete. Like so. Uh, NCDU, I use that quite a bit. Uh, NCDU, and you just uh, run it without a, a variable. It'll give you an approximate just usage. So it's a, like an N curses uh, command line. Q to quit that. So I usually look at the NCD um, at the VAR directory in NCDU. You see the log and the journal. And the cache, the Pac-Man package cache, the last thing that was updated was the FFmpeg, 7.1 megabytes. Also look at the lib system D and look for any core dumps, and there isn't any in there. So usually that's what I do. Um, if there's a, some core dumps, I usually log in as root and uh, it'd be like rm-r slash var slash lib using bash completion system d core dump and then core dot asterisk there's nothing there okay that's why it's giving me that error so just get out of your super user uh we go i find this is the best weather program if you're into command line weather <laughs> So we go, and it takes a bit of configuration. You have to register an account. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember exact, but once you have it, you can back up the .wego.rc file, and always you don't have to enter your credentials anymore. And you see, it's pretty cold here today. So, but I like it. That's why I use the drop-down terminal. It gives me a complete layout of. Uh, what's happening in the three-day trend or something um sl is for fun sl 
Uh, if you mistakenly want to try type ls to <laughs> uh, read your directory, but you type sl, that happens. That's all. It's just a fun thing. Um, git. I know it sounds weird, but git clone. So say if I go to uh, somewhere on the web and say I was just looking at Manjaro on GitHub. You can look for like uh, scenes and stuff like that. And there's the installer there, I just known called Thus. Um, Menda icon themes. Uh, say you could go to say something like artwork, new mix, Manjaro themes, or uh, wallpapers you can get, or whatever. Uh, and just copy them to the relevant directory Greenberg artwork. That looks like a theme xfce4 desktop so you can either download the zip file or just copy it into a terminal and type in git if you have git installed you have to um, download it through pacman control shift v and it should clone the artwork ls and you see there's a artwork dash greenberg and so you do a pseudo copy dash r artwork uh, dash Greenberg to USR share dash themes, I believe. It looks like it. Let's see appearance, if it shows up or not. There it is. Something a little different. And we should actually go to the settings and um, window manager. Oops. Window manager. There we go. Okay, uh, that's uh, quite a bit on JIT, uh, Git, or whatever. B menu, I found that when I was uh, messing around with the Monharo Linux. Monharo. Uh, B menu is binary menu. I don't know. Just for different things. Package manager. Update the system. Optimize mirrors. Uh, some of this you'd have to run as super user though. But it's kind of a neat uh, utility to have. Uh, BC. This is, this is, uh, um, an unexpected, it came from Profile Cleaner. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, what it stands for exactly, but it is a calculator. It's a bit calculator. Um, so you type in BC dash I, so you, uh, something simple, 10 plus 10. Obviously, that's the answer. Um, I'm not sure if you, the clear, if you clear the screen or control C will uh, kill that. So let's do another one. Um, 10 minus 5. Okay, so let's do something more complex. Oh, 222 two, two, dash 245 uh, divided by uh, 1.2. There you go. I don't know if that's the right answer, but it says there's no warranty, so control C to get out of that. I just thought it was kind of cool. B bit calculator. And the things that are, uh, what's installed through Arch Linux Core is PROC PS or PROC PS dash NG. A lot of them I use, such as uh, TOP. I like the Arch, Arch Linux version of TOP. It's kind of nice looking. Uh, quit, control D. Uh, let's take a look at that in the. Uh, Gives you a basic, uh, you know, how, what your CPU is doing. It's, it's busy now because I'm recording the desktop and, and and so on. So Q to quit out of there. Uh, w is <laughs> uh, just gives you an idea what the user is. Only one user logged in, of course. So if I look at um, print working directory, I, obviously that's self-explanatory, but you can do it anyway. PWD tells you where I am. I go to change directory slash data oh, slash what? data pwd and so on. Uh, another one is interesting is uh, your processors uh, using the top command sudo. You have to run that as sudo. So I'll just paste that in. Let me just change directory. Just type cd to go back to your home folder and then control shift v gives you a, a, quite an interesting list of the active processes on your system. 
Um, to me, that's a little, it's a little, uh, nebulous, but if you're more inclined, you can maybe look at these, uh, free, obviously, and the different tags, dash M, uh, dash G, and gigabytes. One I like to use the H, human readable for format, just like disk free, dash H, slash, gives you more of a, as they call human, how much is used, how much is available, and the percentage. And there's uh, aliases that I use, pack row, and that's a very, that's a really long, complex uh, command. So I'm just going to, another alias to open my bash rc file and text editor. It's right here, remove orphans, alias pack row equals this. All right, so that's why, you know, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't type that in, I have an alias for it. And that just, uh, usually from when you use uh, Yaoart, things like extra programs so it can install, like, runtime things, etc. Uh, they're no, no longer needed by the system. Just run pack row and it will get rid of all those, as you can see here. Um, I don't think there's anything on here, but I can run pack row. If there's anything, if, if there's nothing, it'll just return nothing. If there's something, it'll ask if you want to remove them or not. Um... Uh, to get rid of extra packages in your cache, and I found this is more de beneficial actually, um, and more and related to NCDU, NCDU dash VAR cache, and you see Pacman packages. If I run that as full, it'd be sudo Pacman dash capital S C C. Yes, yes. And then runner ncdu cache and pacman package. There's nothing there. And pack o. Uh, let me do the. I don't think it's. Oh yeah, it's. Uh, where is it here? Pack o equals pseudo pacman dash capital s c c s c. Sorry, and then two ands and pseudo pacman dash optimize. So pack o. Answer yes. Default answer is yes. Just some people call it defragging the Pac-Man database. So th those are uh, those are some of the commands I like to use. Like I said, it's not comprehensive. There's millions or thousands, hundreds of thousands. I have no idea. But uh, most some of these are from the Arch Linux user repository. Some of them are already built into Arch, and some of them are included as like a, like the bit calculator whatever it is um, when you install certain programs all right so that's it for this one and thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now